Aloha. I'd like to talk a little bit today about cancer and hemp oil and my work with that. Um, I was listening last night to um, Apollo Gloria's show uh, <coughs> and Rick Simpson had called in and had like an 18 minute connection or something and um, so it was kind of a, it was an attempted interview with him um, that she posted and I was reading the, the um, you know, the dialogue that was being sent in uh, through the chat um, <clears throat> as he was on the, the program and saying what he had to say through Skype and it wound up that uh, there was some, some person on there that I guess knew Rick or knew of his work um, when he was working up in Nova Scotia and uh, it wound up the person was really disrespectful and saying oh Rick didn't heal everybody and I know five people that died and that took his oil and this and that and the other thing and this is what I wanted to address because it's something that I haven't talked about as yet because I've worked with a lot of patients that have cancer and actually I've talked with Rick we've we've had discussions about this very subject about the fact that you know there's other things that are um, they come into play when you're talking about cancer. You know, cancer is a termination program that the soul sets up. There's a book out there, and gosh, I should have done my, my homework before I came up, came on this, this uh, to do this video, but there's a book out there called Cancer and a Tur as a Turning Point, and in it, the, the author basically goes through the premise that um, if you're in a position with your soul where your soul is basically saying, shit, or get off the pot, um, it's time for you to change your life and change your direction of your life because you're not going anywhere, you're not doing anything that's positive. We're going to terminate your program if you don't do something right away. Well, that's cancer. Cancer is a turning point. And people that get that and that have turned their lives around are the people that have spontaneous remissions. Other people can do it through hemp oil, but the thing is, is there are a lot of other things... Um, to be brought in, brought to bear, that you have to consider. You have to consider fear. You have to consider cultural programming. You have to consider families. I've had people that said, okay, well, fine, you take your hemp oil, but you're going to do chemo. You're going to do what the doctor says as well. And they wind up dying. You cannot, uh, my experience so far has been, if the patient is doing chemo and doing hemp oil, they will not survive. Chemo has bad juju to the point where the good juju from hemp oil will not overpower the bad juju from chemo. It will kill you. That's That's been my experience so far. Every patient that I've worked with that has done hemp oil and chemo has died, period. No exceptions. So that's been it so far. And, you know, the thing is, is you have to get in touch with what is the component within you that has created the situation in the first place? It's a spiritual journey. It's an inward quest, and it's something you have to take on by yourself, your family. Everybody needs to give you space. They need to back off, and that's another factor. It's really hard. I've had people that were really wanted to live, but their families were really convinced that they were going to die, and the fact that they were staying alive on hemp oil was uh, an inconvenience to their families and they wound up dying because their families finally talked them into doing one more treatment of, of chemo and radiation and that killed them. It's just crazy but hemp oil does have the ability to help with cancer however you need to do your homework too. So there's no magic pill, there's no one thing that will do it. There are some people that may do hemp oil, and that will be the, the thing that turns them around, but my experience so far has been that's not all it takes. So I just wanted to put that out there and say, you know, you need to do your homework, you need to separate yourself from your family, and you need to make this decision by yourself and do it on your own. And once you make that decision, don't go back. Just keep moving forward because whatever you decide is going to be perfect for you. We all have, we're all going to die at some point. We all have a termination date and maybe your termination date is now. Maybe your cancer, it's time for you to do it. Um, I can't answer that for you. You need to answer that for yourself. It's between you and your soul. Um, I can say they're doing a lot of really good research with uh, death therapy, um, people that are in terminal situations with mushrooms and with uh, ecstasy, pure MDMA. 
but that's lunatic friends. They're generally not allowing that a whole lot, but it is happening more and more. So that's out there if you need to have that as a key to open the door to awareness to find out the answers for you. That's uh, a possible assistant. But besides that, I just wanted to put out there that, you know, uh, there is no magic pill. Hemp oil will help. And external cases, for sure. Anything external, hemp oil will kill. No problem. But internal cases, you're talking about other forces that are coming to into play. And you need to bring all those things together and make a decision bringing all those things into consideration. So that's it. Blessings to you all. Ciao.